Hello again. In this video, we're going to learn how to install Docker rootless in order to run the Docker daemon as a non-root user, that is to say, rootless mode. I will do this practice in Volcha by using a virtual private server, VPS. In the description below, I leave you my affiliate link so you can follow along with free credit and also the commands that I will be using so you can copy and paste or you can follow along with the video. Let's get started. Let's deploy an instance. Clicking here, deploy new instance. We choose cloud compute, location, anywhere you like. Server type Ubuntu 20.04. Let's choose this one, $10 per month. Enter the server name and a label. Click on deploy now. Once it's ready, we copy here our IP address. Let's type SSH root at our IP address. Since this is the first time we're connecting to this IP address, we say yes. Now to get the password, click on the server name, go to details, click on copy password and paste it here. Enter. Let's make some security stuff. Let's update everything, install Docker Compose in case you haven't done it and I'm going to install fail to ban as well. At the end I will reboot. Enter. Once it's finished it's rebooting so let's connect to it again. Let's wait for some minutes and then SSH again. If it says network is unreachable let's try again in a few seconds later. Paste the password and we are in. Now let's go to the configuration directory of fail to ban. Let's see what's inside. We have to create a new configuration file with Vim. I hit enter. I hit I to insert and then I paste the code. Escape, colon, write and quit. Enter. In order to apply the changes, let's execute these commands to activate fail to ban. So this security part so I don't recommend you to access your server with root user so let's create another user and after that let's set up the sshd config file so that we can only allow our new user and root will not be allowed to access our server this makes our server more secure so type here in to usuario the name of your new user here twice because we're going to add it to the sudoers group. Now let's choose a password for, a, for this new user. So once created, let's go to the SSH config folder. Let's see what's inside. We're going to edit the sshd underscore config. But before doing that, we need to back it up like this by copying, making a copy. So if something runs, goes wrong we can go roll back and let's edit this file we need to look for the phrase permit root login so I type forward slash and then permit root login enter so I, I am here I type I and I start to erase I said no escape so I leave the the insert mode and let's go to the bottom with control D until we arrive there. Now let's type O to insert a new line. Let's tell SSHD that we only want to allow this user, your username, allow users, a space, and this one. Escape, colon, write, and quit. In order to apply the changes, we need to restart the SSHD service. That's done. And before disconnecting or, or doing anything else, open a new terminal and connect with your new user. Yes, it's working. So in order to test that we have uh, root permissions, let's install all the necessary packages to install Docker rootless. Let's go to our home directory. Let's execute the script that installs docker rootless. 
So we have here two exports that we have to copy to our to this bash rc file. But before doing that, let's make a back backup. So I copy it like this, and I say dot back. Now let's go to this file to edit it and copy these two lines. Export. So hit Ctrl D to go to the bottom. Now hit O to insert in a new line. Enter for a new line and paste these two lines. Escape, colon, W and Q. Right and quit. Enter. Now let's disable the, the original docker, the root docker. And let's enable it with for, for our user. Yes. Yeah. And now let's make it login to Docker. Yes. And finally, we're going to edit another file, which is the system control. CTL, which is this one. And as always, let's back it up before editing, like so. We copy it to another file and then we proceed to edit it. Let's go to the bottom again, Control D, type O, and then paste this code. What we're doing here is to allow Docker Rootless to use the unprivileged ports that are for example, 443 for HTTPS. Escape, colon, write and quit. Now, just to, to make a check, you can type this, uh, this command and you can check all the values that are set there. Finally, let's reboot, sudo reboot to apply the changes. We get disconnected from both terminals. Let's connect again with our user. And just type uh, docker ps and yes docker rootless is working now in the next video we're going to learn how to install the nginx proxy on docker rootless so you can deploy multiple web pages multiple wordpress and even with laravel websites in only one server also one thing is that if you want to if you don't want to continue your server, you can destroy it whenever you want. So go to the home here in this V of Vulture and then in the list of your servers, hit uh, this, you hit that menu here and then click on server destroy. Now say yes, I'm sure and destroy server. This is useful when you don't want to be in charge for something you are not using. I will appreciate if you use my affiliate link so I can continue making this kind of videos.